deadly fentanyl crisis is playing out in emergency rooms across the country. Drug traffickers are mixing the highly addictive drug and other drugs to drive addiction and attract repeat buyers. This is leading to an increase in overdoses. To combat it, the FDA recently approved over-the-counter Narcan. The nasal spray reverses the effects of an overdose. For more, we're joined now by board-certified emergency room doctor, Dr. Michael Daniel, who's with us every week. Great to see you again. Um, we were sort of stunned to hear about your recent experience on the front lines on this. Can you talk about what you saw and, and how bad this problem is? So, Alex, you know, certainly we have an opioid crisis in this country. 100,000 people are overdosing on drugs, mostly narcotics, uh, every year, and that's gone over the last few years. And so it's been hitting us particularly hard in the ER. For example, as you mentioned, a shift I had on Wednesday I had four patients who overdosed on fentanyl in the field and were subsequently treated with Narcan by first responders and potentially, you know, saved their life. And so we're certainly seeing a lot of that come into the ER lately. And so you brought in some Narcan in studio. A lot of people may not know what it is, number one. Mm -hmm. It's a nasal spray right. and, and how to use it. So the problem with a narcotic overdose, whether it's from street drugs, heroin or fentanyl, or just from prescription medication, is that if you take too much, it interrupts the brain's ability to tell the body to breathe. Mm. And so where Narcan comes into play, it basically competes with and blocks the receptors Hold it up there. where the opioid is impacting on the brain. And so it immediately reverses that effect and allow, it, tells, it allows the brain to tell the body to start breathing. And so what is what's great about Narcan is that anybody can use it. It doesn't involve a needle or injection. And it comes in a box like this with two doses. And what you're gonna do is just first, if you suspect an overdose, you're gonna see, are they breathing? Are they breathing shallow? Do they respond to voice or touch? Do they have pinpoint pupils? That's a very telltale sign of an opioid overdose. And you basically hold the plunger like this with your index and your middle finger on either side of the nozzle and then your thumb on the plunger. You pick a nostril and you just depress it. So one tip though, you don't want to prime the pump like other nasal sprays because that'll dispense the medication and it'll be gone. And the other thing is after you do it, that's when you want to call 911. You don't want to call 911 before unless you have somebody else there with you. So you want to immediately give the Narcan, then call 911. And it's one, one thing? <laughs> that's literally what I just One asked. nostril, not both of them? So you do one nostril first and then you wait three minutes, two to three minutes and see if there's a response, especially if it's something like fentanyl where it's going to take more doses to overcome the overdose. Then you take the second one in the box and you use it in the other nostril. Uh, uh, and what about body position? Does that matter? Yeah, I'm glad you asked that. So after, so when you suspect an overdose, you want to place the patient on the ground and um, after you give the Narcan, you put both of their hands underneath their head as shown in the video here and you put the, the top leg over the top and so it basically prevents the patient from rolling over onto their stomach and potentially aspirating. So that's what and you want you, to do. And then you would apply in this position or you apply first and then roll them over? Apply and then put in this position okay. and then if you have to give a second dose, you can give it in this position. So. I know we talked recently about the push to have this be available over the counter. Right. We're not quite there yet. If I want this, where do I get it and how much does it cost? So the FDA approving this as over the counter was a great first step to remove that barrier. The issue in the past is that people were hesitant to go get it from the pharmacist. You had to go to the pharmacy, go up to the pharmacist directly and ask for it because it would bill their insurance and a lot of people didn't want their insurance insurers to know about that they were getting this medication. So when it becomes over the counter, it kind of removes that barrier. The issue is, one, it's not going to be available to the end of the summer, and the company, Emergent Biosolutions, has not set the price yet, which we estimate could be between 35 and 50 bucks. Mm. And that could be cost prohibitive for sure. a yeah. lot of people, certainly. So right now, you know, it is available in the stores, but you have to get it through the pharmacist. It's just not over the counter. And, and I do know that there are some city and county programs where you can go right. to your local library, for instance, and they may be giving it out to the public for free, which is also very good. Correct. Yeah. And in the emergency room, anytime a patient comes in with an overdose and we're discharging them after a period of observation, we always give them a free Narcan. Oh, uh, on the way out as right, well. Right, because okay. you know you have to suspect that the risk is high for, the, for it to happen again. And, and I also think it's important to point out, uh, as a last point here, that even if it's not fentanyl or if it's not a drug overdose and you're giving it to them anyway, it doesn't harm you. Like you could give this to mm -hmm. me, for instance, and I'd Nothing be okay. Would Nothing would happen. Right. So a lot of okay. times in the emergency room, we have patients with altered mental status. We suspect 
a drug overdose, we're not sure. And this is the, the medication I will always use first because that is one of the easy things to diagnose by treating, essentially. Wow. Well, this is really informative, yeah. really important. Uh, and we love seeing you in your scrubs. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Nicely done. Yeah. Have a great weekend, Dr. <laughs> Thank Michael Daniel. Thank Thanks you, for doctor. everything.